In this segment, we're going to cover the terminal area. And you can see in the terminal area, we have the balance of within your account, the equity, margins. Uh, just prior to this uh, session, I put on a, a little trade. I didn't really look to see which way the market was going. I just turned and put on one lot trade so we can show you some other things. But it gives us a percentage here. Uh, it tells us how much we've used of our margin. I've put the market watch down in this area just for illustration purposes, so we're going to be placing a, a few quick orders. On this particular account, I want to actually blow it up. And I would suggest you open two accounts, one to blow up and one to trade your indicators. This is to teach you money management to see how these percentages change here at the bottom as you add orders on. So I'm going to double click on the, the pound. I'm going to type in 15 lots and I'm just going to put a sell on. I don't know if that's the way it's going. Uh, you'll see that the percentages really changed a lot. So now we've uh, probably overtraded this account or we're getting close to it. Now we're going to put on 15 again of the euro on a sell. Now you can see the, the percentages drop some more and you notice how these numbers change here also. I'm going to put on 15 of the Swissy. You can see the numbers even changed uh, once again. Now we're going to put on 15 more. Oh, it says not enough money, so we can't put on 15. Let's see how many we can put on. Let's put 10. And it took 10. So we're close to the limit as to how many we can trade, but look, we're down to uh, our margin level is about 100%. That's all we have left. We've used most of our margin. Free margin, we have just a very little bit left. So um, eventually, if we left this, it'll probably give us a margin call. And it'll probably, it, uh, when it does give a margin call, it will take the most detrimental uh, trade, the one that's uh, the most negative in your account. It'll close first until this number stays above 50%. When it gets 50% or lower, it starts closing trades. Uh, that's so that you will not go down lower than the amount of money that uh, you put in. You at least will uh, not owe any money to the brokerage firm. So that's just a, a thing I want you to do to, to learn how to use the terminal and to see how the, to manage money at the same time. Yeah, I don't suggest you do this on your real accounts. Uh, you'll lose uh, all your money quickly. Uh, now, we had this one order that I placed on just uh, minutes before I started the session and I didn't care which way it went uh, I just wanted to make sure there was one on so I could illustrate another point so I'm going to close this order right now I'm going to double left click go up and hit close and we've closed that order uh, it was just a small order it didn't change the percentages very much but we'll watch these as we go through the this session now we want to move over to the account history. You can see this order that we had just closed. It has the order number, the time we ordered it, there was a buy, one lot, the pound dollar, that's the price we entered at, had no stop loss or take profit. This is the time we exited the uh, trade. So we were in it, uh, oh, maybe 11 minutes, and this is the price we got out at. A little trick is you can left click on the currency pair, drag it into the chart area, let go of it, and we're going to go to a one minute uh, time frame. So you can see this is where we entered the trade and this is where we exited the trade. Now this was not based on any signals, it was just based on wanting to show you what you're going to see. Now this would be a losing trade. You click on your roller wheel, you can put that on the start point, and you can see that we lost eight pips on that uh, particular trade. This is a good way to keep track of your journal as well. So that's how you keep track of your account history. The news tab doesn't really uh, work that well. Uh, it's usually news that's in the past. We're looking for what's going to happen or when it's happening. So we don't use the news tab. We've already covered the alerts as to how to set those in the, another segment. The mailbox, uh, this shows you where your accounts are and uh, if the 
Interbank is giving you uh, emails that will come here. Read those emails because they're giving you uh, indications as to what's happening in the, the market or things uh, when they might be closed for a holiday or different uh, things like that. The journal area, it shows you everything that you've done on your platform. Right here we, uh, let me go down a little bit see if we can get uh, instant order sell 10 lots of the dollar yen at that price. The request was accepted by the server. The request now is in progress and the order was opened. And then it says close order. Request was accepted. Request in progress and then the order was closed and it tells you at what prices the order was closed at. The reason I go over that because people think that when they click that button it's an automatic I am a, have a right to get in at that point. Anytime you click the button on any currency pair with any broker is all it is is a request to enter the market at that price. If the price is changed you may not get filled or you'll get filled at a different price. Or if there's not enough if you're buying and there's not enough people selling then you're not going to get filled that way either. Uh, it's not just a, a ATM machine. You have to have someone buying when you're selling and someone selling when you're buying. Uh, then you can get filled. It's a very liquid market so you can get filled most of the time uh, at the price you would like. These are a few of the things that we have uh, find that are important on the market watch. You can see now that uh, we're at 102% of when we first left, just left, it seems like we're about 106%. Now we're a negative, uh, you can see the negatives changing. It changes a lot because we have a lot of lots on. Uh, do that, play that with one a demo account. Don't do this with your live account, but have fun with it. Learn how the uh, money management part of trading works, and this was a good tool to help you. Uh, I like to keep this figure, the higher the better. If it's 500, 800, or 1,000 percent, then I'm doing pretty good. Uh, if it gets down to 500, I'm thinking about closing all my accounts because I've way over traded my account. You can see it's dropping. We'd probably get a margin call if we watched it long enough. Uh, try this yourself, and uh, we'll see what happens. See, the market is moving over here now, so it's kind of an exciting little market. Uh, it's a fun thing to see. You need to learn how to use the indicators to get in at the right times and when you're making money and this turns into three hundred dollars from one hundred dollars positive then boy that's an exciting time you can see that this is going down and so we'll talk to you another segment bye for now